Nah, man, rumor is old news. The true MC is Masayuki, I'm telling you. I like this episode the entire way through. Sure, it was a slower episode for a lot of it, but I had a good time. But man, did I smile when I saw my boy Masayuki pop up. There's just... I love Rimuru, don't actually get it twisted, but like, if you were to right now spoil me and say next episode, Rimuru actually dies, he's completely dead, gone for good, the author decided to switch the perspective, I, I would literally look at you with 100% confidence and say that's okay, it, it was time for a change. And I'm actually okay with Rimuru continuing to be the MC, I think he's fantastic for the show and Tempest is prospering because of it, but there's something about a guy who literally is the walking embodiment of isekai plot armor, who has, this dude wants to go play Stardew Valley, just make a farm, do something chill, and somehow is completing the plotline for Baldur's Gate 3. He has no idea how he's on the main questline, he has no idea why he keeps succeeding, but my boy said like four words total, as his entire posse is like hyping him up like, my boy's gonna kick your boy's ass, and he's just kind of like, bruh, bruh. The funniest thing is his ability won't even work on Rimuru based on what I'm told, but it's like the fact that he just wants nothing to do with the main plotline. He literally wants the side quest that has him probably cleaning tables at a tavern and gets thrown. It's just, he's the best character. The fact that he's had such few lines in scenes and he's already my favorite character this is the type of boy who deserves a spin-off series that I see the beginning to the end in the world of slime. Just absolutely fantastic. I don't actually think Rimuru is a bad character, but man, when you're just this great of a character, even a great character like Rimuru seems quite small in comparison. Of course, I do have full live reactions over on Patreon. If you want to see my full look of thought to any of these episodes, it's going to be over there exclusively. So, this was a very slower paced episode. And I'm sure there's going to be some people saying, damn, we had to wait a week for this. But I mean, I'm pretty sure the reason we had the extra week was because of the Olympics, which, I mean, you can't really foresee that when making anime episodes structuring, right? But at the same time, like, this was a good episode. And I'm gonna go back to a comment I made uh, three videos back, maybe four, about how I believe the big reason why the conversations and meetings in the second core are so different and better than the first. I was someone who very much enjoyed Core 1. The first half of Core 1, I think people were overly critical for no reason. The second half of Core 1, it started becoming too much of the same, and even I had issues. However, the meetings were objectively more boring than the meetings that we've gotten in the second Core or in previous seasons. I, I truly believe that. And some people do believe that a big reason is because we're not just in the same meeting room every single time. And does that play a factor? Yes, but I don't think it's the main reason. So in this episode, while there was a little variety, the first half was literally just meetings. It was catching up with Yom, catching up with different groups, and it really was in a lot of ways similar to how Core 1 was. But what is the big difference and what I said a month, of, month or so back about meetings? It's a two-parter. The characters are having fun now, which then makes the viewer have fun, and it's the difference between war tactics and political tactics. And what I mean is, the meetings in the first core were all surrounding battle tactics, who's going to attack like this, this, and that. And I don't think Slime really excels with battle tactics, I'm going to be honest. You can call me a tense or a fanboy and I wouldn't bat an eye, but I truly believe the battle tactics, while they're not bad, they are the farthest thing from being some of the greatest in Isekai. And I think because you having 12 episodes of basically that, it gets pretty dry and boring. But when Tensura is talking about economics or just, you know, political stuff about meanings of who's going to do this or who's going over here, you know, different relationships and partnerships were forming, it lets the characters be their best selves, which is very charismatic, sometimes freaky and scary, and it just makes meetings so much better. It's not just because I've been waiting to see Yom and just, you know, because obviously a big part was putting Yom as king. The reason his section works is because the characters are so freaking fun. You have this like little, little steward guy who's just like, bruh, did you just, but if you drop our debt, it'll look like Yom bartered with a demon lord and that will put him even higher in position. Yeah. That stuff is so fun. That stuff just, it bursts with energy. And in an episode that is for the first like 
12 minutes, slower than you're probably expecting, it still flew by. And why? If you were to give this type of meeting in the first core, it would have felt like 20 minutes. But the reason it isn't is the characters are laughing, they're having fun, and the personalities pop out. Having a dwarven guy come in and just casually pound back a plate of donuts, leaving Rimuru with none, as they're talking about legitimately interesting topics, like, hey, you didn't really tell me this was going to happen about my people. It just, that stuff is more interesting than Rimuru and them talking about how they're going to go kill or do this or that. I truly believe that. Now, the best parts of this episode were twofold. Seeing the kids again and, you know, telling them they're coming to our little event. That was super cute and adorable. That gave me, like, Slime Diaries feel. Because I, I did forget about them. I'm not going to lie. I forgot we met them. But they were cute. It was nice seeing them. And, you know, how Rimuru just kind of recruits them over. And just such a cute little dynamic. And very much Tensura Slime Diaries feel. Just, honestly, just throw Geld into the mix and it'll just be perfect. But Masayuki stuff was my favorite. It was the shortest. But, like, we have a situation where Rimuru's people and Masayuki's people want to encourage their top dog to just smack them around, where Masayuki's like, bruh, I don't want to do the main quest anymore. How the hell am I on autopilot? And Rimuru's like, I don't want to fight him. Like, <laughs> it's just so good, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm loving, like, it feels like an exaggeration, but it's not. Second core of season three feels like a new season. Like, it feels like the directing and everything about this, both visually and just how they're structuring dialogue, it feels like we are dealing with a season three and a four. Like, season three was the first 12 episodes, and then season four was this. Because it's just, it's a completely night and day difference. And I don't necessarily think it's because of the way the novels were structured. It's just the directing is different, and it's just so much more enjoyable. I love this episode. It wasn't anywhere close to being my favorite of the season, but they had enough here that just reminds me of why I do like slime meetings and why I've liked most of season one and two because of how many meetings are there. Because for the most part, it's on the kind of like economic, kind of like civilization simulator stuff. And that's why I like the meetings in this core. The kid stuff was very cute. And also we had Masayuki, which is just always a very pleasant surprise. So, uh... Let me know what you're thinking of this week's episode of Slime down below. What do you think of the meetings now? Let me know. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Of course, ring that bell. And like I mentioned, we got those full live reactions over on Patreon. And hey, while you're over there, I'll just give you a video shout out. All right, so today we have Peaceful Hermit, MW, Chriso Wiper, Starcraft48, Connor Reeves, Green Bean, Colchin, and we also have TMG Gaming 999 so I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care, and y'all have a good one.